Hey everyone, welcome back to a Lettuce Garden scripting tutorial. In today's video, we're going to go over how to make your very own VIP door for your game. So by the end of the video, what we're going to have is you can walk up to a door, and when you tap it, you'll get a prompt to buy VIP. And once it goes through, the door will open for you. And if you already own the VIP before you join the game, the door will also automatically open. And the door will stay closed for everybody who isn't a VIP. So stay tuned to learn how to make this system. So before we get started, let's just walk through what we have in studio. So I've set up a simple wall around a purple door and we've named this purple door VIP door. And to make it actually act as a VIP door, let's go inside and make a new script. Name this script VIP door script and set the run, the run context to client. And so if we want to open this door, if they're a VIP, first we need to make a VIP game pass. So let's go over to Roblox and make that real quick. To make a game pass for our game, we want to come to create.roblox.com and on the left hand side here where it says creator, you want to change this to be either your group or your account depending on where you want the game pass to be. And then you'll get a list here of all of the experiences you own and you can click view all if you don't see yours here. Mine right here is the VIP door game. So I'm going to click this. And it brings up our analytics page. However, if we go over to the left hand side, we can scroll down to where it says monetization products. We can click passes. We can create a new pass. And let's name this VIP. And we can just set some random description. This is the VIP game pass. And you can set your image if you want. I'm not going to set one for this case. And now we have our game pass here. Now it's off sale. So if we want people to be able to buy our game pass, let's click our new game pass here. Come over to where it says sales on the left hand side. And then you can check this item for sale and set a price. So let's say we want our VIP to be 100 Robux. We can set the price to 100. Click save and that has updated our price. So if we go back to the main page here, if we click these three dots, we can click the copy asset ID, and this is the ID that we want for our script. So once you have that copied, we can go back over to Roblox Studio. Once you have your game pass created, we can come back in here and make a new variable, local ID equals our ID. We can paste in the ID that we've created and so first, let's check to see if the player owns this ID. So to do this, we need to import our marketplace service. Game get service marketplace service. And then we can do if marketplace service user owns game pass, and then we can pass in the user ID, which in this case is players .local player user ID. And the ID is the game pass. Then, now we have to import players to make sure that that works properly. So import players, game, get service, players. So what do we want to do if they own the game pass? We want to open the door, right? So let's call a function here called open door. And let's make that function up here, local function, open door. And to do this, we need to make a variable for our door, so local door equals script dot parent because we put the script here within our door and then in their open door function we can do we can do door dot can collide equals false so now if they if they own the game pass we'll call the open door function which sets the doors can collide to false which means players who are vips can then walk through the door and after this open door function call on line 13 we want to return we're going to write some more code below this. And if they're already a VIP, we don't need to actually do any of the extra code because we know the door should be open. So let's just return there and save a bit of processing power. So the next thing we want to do here is if they are not a VIP and they touch the door, we want to prompt them with a pop-up to buy the VIP. So how do we do that? We can do door.touched, connect that. And what we get here 
is we get a, a, a variable for the part that actually touched the door. And usually we call this a hit part. And we can check to see if this hit part is within our character. So local character equals players dot local player dot character. And we can do an if statement, if hit is descendant of our character, then we want to prompt the game pass. So marketplace service prompt game patch game pass purchase. We're going to pass in our local player and the game pass ID. So let's go over this real quick. If they touch the door, we want to get the player's character. We want to check to see if the part that touched the door is within our character. And if it is, we're going to prompt them to buy our game pass. So let's just make sure that this is all working real quick. So let's head over to our test mode. Now, something to note, um, if you create the game pass on your account or on a group you own, for example, um, you might already own the game pass. Sometimes Roblox puts the game pass into your inventory. So when you go up to this door, you might actually already have access to walk through. So I've actually gone ahead on my inventory and deleted the game pass so that I could test this properly. Um, so you might also want to do the same thing, um, just delete the game pass. But once you've deleted the game pass from your inventory, and when you walk up to the door here, you'll get this prompt here. And the nice thing about uh, doing these purchases in Roblox Studio, as you can see here, it says this is a test purchase, your account won't be charged. So you can test buying things within your game without actually charging your Roblox account. Now, one issue we're gonna find out here is once we buy this game pass, you know, it says it's succeeded, but you know, I can't walk through the door. It just keeps asking me to buy the game pass. So we actually also need to come back to our script and we need to add in another check to see when the player buys the game pass. So we can do here, marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished connect that and here we get the player that made the purchase the game pass id that was bought and if they bought the game pass which was purchased and so we can do here if player is not the players dot local player then return so if the player who bought the game pass isn't our local player, just ignore it. And I'm gonna call out here, we're not doing two equal signs, we're doing like a squiggly line and the equal sign. So that's how you do not in Lua. And then we can do here too, if the game pass is not our ID, then we also want to return. And then we can do another last if statement. If it was purchased, then open door. So let's come back here, test out our game. And once we buy our game pass now, we should be able to walk through a door. So we can't walk through the door, buy the game pass, and now we can walk through. However, we're still getting the purchase prompt show up. So even though we can walk through the door, we want to stop getting this prompt. And here, um, so we have our open door function. So let's make a new variable here called local door is open, we initialize this to false. And in our open door, we can do door is open equals true. And then in our door dot touched, we can do if the door is open, then we're just going to return the door is open, we already know that they own the game pass, we don't need to prompt them again. So if now we go back into our into our game, and you walk up to the door, we can buy our game pass. And now we can walk through the door and we're not getting prompted every single time. Something else I like to do for my VIP doors is I like to come up here and also set door.transparency equals 0 0.5. And so let's take a look to see what this does. So within our game now, when we buy our game pass and the door opens, it will also become a little bit transparent. So VIPs can see into the room, but no other player will be able to, only VIPs. So that's what I like to do with my doors. Um, and you can do whatever you want with yours. It's totally up to do. It's fully customizable. And yeah, if you need any help with any of your other Roblox programming questions, head over to our Discord server. Link for that is in the description. If you want the assets and the scripts for this video here, you can also find a link for that in the description.
Thanks for watching.